as you know, we've talked a lot about infrastructure. Yeah. You know, we, we, our, our, our core basic plans when we started, you know, we talked about um, health care, taxes, infrastructure in that order. You know, part of our tax plan may be to use some of the repatriated money into an infrastructure fund or an infrastructure bill. Um, so we, we know that we are going to fund some of the infrastructure. Director Mulvaney will tell you that in his budget, he's got fairly substantial allocations in for infrastructure. So the government is going to have to be involved in the infrastructure. That said, you know, we think brave, bringing private capital in alongside with the government or even privatizing some of the infrastructure it makes an enormous amount of sense. Mm -hmm. Just building up the government's balance sheet for the sake of building up the government's balance sheet doesn't make the most sense. If we've got existing infrastructure that has direct revenues attached to it, we think there may be very interesting ideas in the for-profit or in the not-for-profit world mm -hmm. to take that infrastructure and put it into corporations and use more of the capital markets to pay for that instead of putting it on the government's balance sheet. We know that well, that will create efficiencies. We know it will create long-term better management. It will create a maintenance program, and it will do the things that we need to do for an efficient long-term infrastructure management program. So we do not want to sit here as the federal government and just be a piggy bank doling out money here, there, and somewhere else. Right. We want to be a partner with, with, with governors, with mayors, with municipalities to help them and co-invest along with them on projects that they want to put capital in. So there's a state and local component to this as well. The, the, well, as you know, I think as most of you know, there's a huge state and local component to this. I mean, the, the great irony in infrastructure is that the federal government owns very little infrastructure, but we control almost all of the infrastructure, right. and we control almost all of the permitting process for infrastructure. So how do you ensure that it's spent in the right place? And I use an example. I'm from rural Kentucky. Hal Rogers, who's the chair of the Appropriations Committee on the House, is from southwestern, south, uh, middle south, uh, southern Kentucky, most beautiful highways in the world. Unfortunately, there are no people. <laughs> so how do you ensure that you're not building bridges to nowhere, that you're actually putting asphalt and bridges where the population yeah. is? Well, uh, that's exactly what I was, I was alluding to. So we don't want to be in the business of just doling out money, to dole out money. We want to be in the business in investing in infrastructure where other people, meaning the states, the cities, the municipalities, the authorities, are going to put their money with us knowing that they're going to need to get a return on their investment. They're going to get, need to get a return on their capital. Hopefully, it would make sense to bring in other partners because we don't want to build the bridge to nowhere to say that we just built it in an appropriations. We want to build the smart infrastructure where, they're, where we're going to change people's lives, where we're going to make getting to work easier, getting to school easier, getting around the city easier, flying across the country easier. Those are the places where we want to have the impact. And you talk about privatization. Does that include the air traffic control system? Do you have a list? Or is that something that we'll see for, uh, coming out soon? We have a list, but it's not You're a complete list. But we have, it's not a complete list. I mean, I, I have talked fairly openly about the ATC system. Right. I think the ATC system is sort of a, a bellwether example of something that can be done and should be done. We're not cutting. We're not on leading edge to do this. We're following what a bunch of other countries have done. Canada, for example. Canada, for example. Over, over 50 countries have done what, we're, what I'm proposing we do. There is a direct attributable revenue stream already mm -hmm. dedicated to air traffic controllers. If you put the ATC component into a, into a private business, whether it be for-profit or not-for-profit, hive it off, build the technology, modernize the system, the revenue is there, the technology is there, the opportunity is there, to, and it will change everyone's life. We will speed up times. You won't sit on tarmacs as long. You won't, you won't, your flight time will go down. The descent patterns will go down. I mean, those of you that fly around know that you, you, know, you drop from 20,000 feet to 15,000 feet to 10,000 feet. You'll have direct descent into airports. There's certain airports in the United States that have built that technology. You won't go from waypoint to waypoint that are out of the way. You'll go direct from point to point. You'll save jet fuel in the process. Saving jet fuel is cost efficient, and it will mean that we'll consume less energy in this country. And guess what? It's environmentally very, very friendly. It makes enormous amount of sense. That's why so many other countries have done it. 
The last time I flew to LaGuardia, I was, we were number 37 in line to take off. We sat there and idled for three hours, so I agree with you. Whatever you can do, you, 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 you got my vote. I, I won't even guess what percentage of jet fuel for that trip you used on the ground. sitting there. Because every time you start and stop to get that hunk of steel moving again, it takes a lot of jet fuel. And what's the timing on something like that? Is that something you hope to get done in the second half of this year? Is that a 2018, 2019? What does get done mean to you? Well, it, <laughs> it is Washington after all. Right. You mentioned energy policy. No, I mean, we're moving that one through the system. We've been working with, the, with, uh, with Secretary Chow. The, the good news here is the House members have enormous um, um, desire to do this. We've been working with many of the House members who, who this is a air transportation bill that they've had on the floor for, for a long time. For a long time. Right. So we're working with a, a, a House that wants to work with us. There's very little opposition to what we want to do. That said, this is going to take years, not months to get done. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.